Hey team, I want to talk to you guys about a very powerful tool that you can use, that you can impl implement on a regular basis that will help you achieve your race goals. And that is just simply doing a review. I recommend that you do it on, a, like I said, a regularly scheduled basis. Personally, I like to do it every three weeks. If you're getting a ton out of it, you can even do it every week, maybe every two weeks, but probably two to three weeks is what I would recommend. Um, find out what works for you. I've got a I've got a document that I made up on uh, Word. It's P turned it into a PDF and it's attached to this video. And so you can just print that out and you can use that each time. Feel free to modify it as well if you find some things you want to add or take away. Um, and if you do, I'd love to hear it because it might help me modify what I've created. Uh, but I want you to start with reviewing your race goals. So you're all training for this race, this event. I want you to write down what those goals are, whether it's just simply to finish or to finish with a smile on your face or to get a certain time, right? Take a little bit of time to connect to that goal because each time that you connect to that goal, it'll strengthen that goal with inside of you and it'll remind you, you know, why you're getting up early, why you're um, not hanging out with your friends as much because you're out there training, right? The things that you're sort of sacrificing to achieve this big goal that you're working towards, it's good to remind yourself of that and why it's important to you. Um, I also want you to uh, write down what are the key fundamentals that you need to do in, to achieve that goal. Uh, so I have another video about uh, um, figuring out those key fundamentals, so I'll link that to this. But, but essentially, you should know the two or three things that are really critical for you to do to reach that goal. Consistency is a big one. So it could be consistency. It could be that you need to you know, lose three pounds, depending, especially if you have a time goal, if you wanna get faster. It could be that, hey, I need to get to the pool three times a week. I need to get one-on-one -on -one training lessons, swim coaching lessons once a month. Um, I need to meet this group at a track workout at least twice a month. Right, figure out what it is that you need to do to reach that goal, and then just remind yourself of those key fundamentals. So these first two things, it's really about creating accountability for yourself. You know, study after study has shown that people do better at achieving their goals, achieving what they're going after when they have someone to keep them accountable. And so that's why people have training partners and groups and hire coaches. This is a way for you to create accountability for yourself and to hold yourself accountable because you have to go to this review and you have to write down, hey, these are, this is what I said I wanted to do. This is what I'm doing. Maybe that's not matching up. Why is that not matching up? Figure that out and really you know, get true with yourself what's going on in your training. Okay? It's all designed to help you reach that goal that you set for yourself. Uh, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to celebrate your successes. And why is that? Well, there's a couple reasons. One is it's important to stay positive. It's very easy for all of us to just go right into the negative. You know, I missed this track workout. I didn't do this. Um, and we just get down on ourselves, right? That's, that's really easy. But it's important to remind yourself of the things that you did well. Uh, partly because it's, it's not natural for us to do that. But this is also going to help in your race. When your race is going on, because you're, you're going to enter this negative mindset at some point in a race, and professional athletes do this, it happens to everybody, but a lot of times we don't realize that everybody else go through, goes through this and we get down on ourselves. So I want you to take this as an opportunity to remind yourself of the things that you did well in your last training block. You know, that really hard workout that you wanted to stop, but you kept going. You ran an extra 15 minutes when you wanted to stop because it was really hot out. You know, whatever it is, maybe it was terrible rain and, and you didn't want to go out the door, but you got out the door 10 minutes and you ended up doing the whole workout, right? So think of whatever went on in this last training block that you did well and that you can celebrate those successes and commend yourself for. It's also going to help as you get towards later in your training and you start to get to, towards the end of the race. It's important to go back and remind yourself of all of the hard work that you did leading up to this race because that'll help boost your confidence, okay? Um, the next thing is I want you to just take a moment and ask yourself, was there anything I could improve on? Uh, maybe there isn't, maybe there is. You know, when you go back to thinking about 
your goals and especially the fundamentals. Like fundamentally, this is what I need to do each week to achieve my goal. Well, when you're looking about what you can improve on, this is a great way to do it. So you know what your key fundamentals are, and then you look at your last block of training and you say very simply, how did that match up? If I was, if my long, uh, you know, run was supposed to be 15 miles and I ran 12 miles, and then the next one is supposed to be 18 and I ran 14, you can see where you're falling short there, right? So you have an opportunity to look at your training objectively and then assess how you did in meeting those goals. What were the key workouts? Did you hit the key workouts? You know, you don't always have to hit 100% of every workout, but if you're hitting 80% of the workouts and you're getting the key workouts in, you're gonna have a great race. So this is your opportunity to just compare, you know, what you need to do, what did you do, and then you can also project forward into the next block of training and say, okay, well, this is what I need to improve on, and this is what I'm gonna do on the next block. And that brings me to the last point, which is, I want you to write down what are you committed to for the next block, right? So you, you know where you need to improve, and now write down what are you committed to. And the reason why I want you to write that down, the simple act of writing down what you need to improve and what you are committed to, it will help you strengthen that commitment. Because it's just like when you tell somebody, hey, I'm gonna achieve this thing. It's like, you've said it, you've got it out there. It's like, holy crap, now I gotta actually do what I said I was gonna do, right? And there's, there's uh, research that proves this too, is when you, when you verbalize something and you commit to it and you commit to one person, then it helps you hold yourself accountable because you just spoke it out loud. It's much stronger than if you just keep it all inside and you don't ever tell anybody because then you're not actually committed to it, right? So write it down because that's gonna strengthen your commitment and it's gonna help you over the next two or three weeks or whenever you do your review, it's gonna help remind you, hey, I said I was gonna do this, right? And if it helps even once a week, like if, let's say you do the review every three weeks, it wouldn't be a bad thing at the start of each week, take out this sheet of paper and read what you said you were committed to because that'll help strengthen just for that one week. You know, oftentimes it's just about getting through that one week of training. Just like when you're out on a long run and you know, and it just seems like forever. A lot of times it's just about getting that next mile and not worrying about the next 10 that you have to do. Let's just get through this next segment. Um, one of my favorite quotes from Dave Scott is, do what you can do in the moment. And that's what we're talking about. Sometimes you have to break down your training schedule to a week or a day, but you focus on what you can do right then and do it as well as you can. And those things add up over time, okay? So that's, uh, that's training review. As always, if you have any questions, uh, just fire them at me and uh, we'll keep improving, keep working hard. I know you guys are doing a great job.